Very well, let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? Mr. Edgeworth, you may call your first witness of the day to the stand. For its first wit- for its first witness? Oh, for the prosecution. I felt- it just felt weird that he's talking to him about himself in the third person. <laughs> <laughs> for its first witness, the prosecution calls the suspect of the murder that occurred at the police department. The suspect? You mean the so-called murderer? You're not supposed to say it like that, Judge. That's not- it's not impartial saying it that way. Things are getting- things are getting wild from the get-go. Do we know, wait, do we have a sus? Oh, I, for, I forgot he's the suspect, which doesn't make sense either. Little Bucky. <laughs> how, do, how do people land on these characters? How is he the suspect? It doesn't... Uh, oh, right, no, he's the suspect because he's so fucking stupid that he admitted to murder. Yep. A murder he doesn't remember, but he's like, wow, I guess I stabbed him. I'm like... I guess I did. <sighs> I'm not saying I didn't. I can't prove I didn't, <laughs> so like, I must have. When the police chief inevitably turns out to be the guy that did all this shit, like, even he's got to be surprised by how easily he, like, accidentally gaslit this guy into admitting murder. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, like, wait until... He was essentially, like, an accidental witness that he had to deal with, and then he's like, oh my god, I guess I'm the murderer. <laughs> it's like someone falls asleep, you put a knife in their hand, and you put a dead body next to him, and you, like, just leave. Oh my god, movies have trained me to believe that this is what happened. <laughs> I must have. I, yeah. There's no other explanation. I must have done it. Yeah, it's uh, The Night Of, which you should watch, is really good. Is that. <laughs> <laughs> so just waking up with a body, just like, oh, this, pro this is a problem. <laughs> this is a problem. Will the witness please state his name and occupation? Yes, sir. I am Officer Mike Meekin, sir. My occupation is, uh... That's a face. That would be murderer, sir. Oh, no. No. You idiot. You idiot. You fool. Yep. Yep. We have two people in, uh, that are framing themselves for the two murders. Yep. Which is extra funny because there can't be two murders. Yep. So not only are both of them not the murderer, but they're yep. both like just jumping in front of the tray and yep. <laughs> just fucking going for it. Like, arrest me, daddy. <laughs> yeah, arrest me, daddy. Right. So you're, you're telling us you're a professional killer. <laughs> sir, it was me, sir. I'm the one who did it. I'll never kill anyone again, sir. You've got to believe me, sir. Oh, Why is poor Stop sap. letting him take these things in here. Uh, actually, we'd- uh, Sir, if you- <laughs> I'm what you'd call a part of the younger generation, sir. A person whose actions adults can't possibly comprehend. Whoa, dude. Uh, please, uh, Mr. Edgeworth, sir. Uh, help- help me, sir. <laughs> Officer Meekins. I yes sir Give us your report of the crime. Consider that in order. Which it is, because I own you. <laughs> you fool. Yes, sir, uh, as you wish. After all, I am part of a generation that must be told what to do, Oh, sir. no. Oh. Uh-oh. I disagree Is with this. Is this what they thought Gen Z would be? When was this made again? Uh, this was back in 2001, but I think they said that DL6 incident took place in 2001. So this is like... Well, I guess this isn't the future, then it's the past, but it's the future from, from their perspective, but it's our past still. So he's like... So he's like... Tw it's like 2010 now, I think? So I guess he's my age. <laughs> so I guess he's a millennial. Are you technically a millennial? I looked at the sub. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a millennial. Uh, it's, pe it's people... It, the, the definition is foggy, but it's like vague, like people who are becoming a, adults at the, or people who are growing up at the turn of the millennium or something. So it's like from like 80 to 95 or something like that. It's like a wide range. I think I like, I like barely made the cutoff, I think, by and, a and couple years. Yeah. I think I, um, I was almost Gen yeah, Z. Yeah, most millennials are much older than we are. Yeah, like yeah. Some of them already are grandparents. They're go-getters, though. Like, that's some <laughs> rapid-fire parenting. <Yeah. laughs> but, uh... <laughs> go-getters. Uh, that's, uh, that's two consecutive uh, high school pregnancies, I would think. But, mm -hmm. uh... 
But yeah, like, millennials are surprisingly old, which is why it gets increasingly funny when people call everyone young millennials all the time, because I, I, I checked this, like, two years ago, I think? I think I checked and found out that, like, the majority of all living people are millennial or younger. See, I think it's, it was... Because old people die. I think it was 97 was the cutoff, I think. I'm 93. I think I, I, I looked this up last night because I sent my sister a meme. <laughs> I had to know yeah. whether or not she was a Gen Z or not. But, <laughs> You're trying to tell if, she, if it applies to her or not? Because uh, I, yeah. I was just making some cheeky joke, but... but yeah, the, uh, yeah the, there's, uh, this is a while ago I checked this, but yeah, like, the majority, like... We, we are well past the curve already where the majority of all people on the planet are either millennials or younger. Mm -hmm. But still, the older generations are still constantly, rah, 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 the millennials are doing this and that. And they always mean like 16 year olds seemingly. And it's like, no, they're like 32. Yep. Or old, actually, they're, they're like 38 in many cases. See, but like, a, lot of, a lot of old folks will say like, yeah. 16, 32, same thing. You're it's because like millennial sounds people. like a, it's, it's too, Millennial, the word, is too satisfying a slur. Yeah. Like, it sounds like remedial. Like, it sounds like you're talking... Boomer is pretty it, good, it, though. It's an... Inc it's like, remedial... Yeah, Boomer's pretty bad, pretty good. But, like, yeah... Like, Gen, Gen Zer doesn't flow off its tongue at all. Yeah, like, millennial is just such a condescending, shitty word, and it works... It's so effective as a word that, like, they're just gonna beat that horse forever at this point. Which is why, which is why younger people responded by just calling everyone older than them boomers now, because that's what the, that's what the boomers are doing is calling everyone younger than than the millennials. So now it's like fuck it. This is just a, apparently there's just a fucking dichotomy now. It's there's only yeah, only two options. There's only two generations now. There's just boomers and millennials, and ever it's just everyone younger or older than you. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, that's a more honest use of those words than was being used before anyway. So. Might as well. Everything is a joke. Yeah. It, it, it infiltrated me at one point where there was a great, there was a moment where I was getting to the final part of a big long RPG, and this guy, it was, I couldn't help it because this guy was doing his big villain speech, and he went on for like ten minutes about how he's going to create a new world order, and he knows right, and he's superior to everyone, and all this other shit that they always say, and then and all I could say when he finally stopped talking, it was just like. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> I just killed him. <laughs> it's like, it's, I, I, I couldn't think to respond any other way at that point. Because he was just so fucking self-important and old. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, Gigi. Tell what must be told what to do. <clears throat> you can't fault him for a lack of enthusiasm. He's cute. I wish he wasn't so dumb. Because I'm worried about him now. Yeah, he's, he's a mess. I'm worried about his well-being for his whole life. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence the room that day. I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. Yeah, they're totally hiding his face because they're shedding up the idea that like it's somebody else disguised as Goodman to well, again, to place him in that location. He didn't have his ID card. Yeah. Because it was lost. But, Cause this, cause but now who is he? ID. I don't know. I, uh, I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. I fought for my life, and then I, I did it. He's holding a luck charm. Mm -hmm. After I passed out, after that I passed out until another officer smacked me awake. Hmm. So the victim, Detective Goodman, attacked you. Do unto others before they do unto you. <laughs> That's the Meekins family motto, sir. Yes. <laughs> Kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> That's an incriminating family motto. That is. I see. Then you fainted and a colleague helped you regain consciousness. Yes, sir. He knocked me upside the head, sir. Are they sure they didn't just trip on you? <laughs> Laying on the floor of the evidence room. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. What I need here is more info to work with. Crime report, sir. <laughs> this poor, stupid man. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Hmm. It's not normally his duty, but he was guarding the evidence room that day. He was told and, to yeah, by our the, good friend Gant. Uh, or the cowboy guy. Oh, who yeah. Who is also the one who has incriminating evidence in that room. 
Mm-hmm. They, or, or yeah, I'll say, I'm sure Gant and Cowboy are working together. Maybe they just were like, they needed Cowboy, yeah. so, so Meekins has to guard the room that day. They're having him, they're having him keep watch without him being aware that he's accomplishing them. Or something like that. Yep, it's him. Going by the picture. What? Facial hair. Oh. That's the this guy has fucking glam ass facial hair. And this guy's got this. And then you look back at this photo. Oh wait, I can't look at it, it's not evidence. Fuck. <laughs> but the photo we just saw, he had he had uh he had like the lion's facial hair. Mmm. Like the where it's just a bunch of black lines. Uh the anime it, so you see anime Goodman. facial hair. Yeah, which is also not what Goodman looks like. Nope. Because Goodman doesn't have the lines, he just has the, the solid patch on his chin. Little, little goatee. So the guy wearing Goodman's clothes had that guy's facial hair. As best as I can tell, I can't see his sideburns, because that's what we can see in the picture. These pictures but are a lot better I'm, than I'm the... I'm guessing his sideburns look like his face. ...than the Edgeworth case on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because they were made in a higher resolution the first time. I know, I'm just joking. And he doesn't have facial hair at all. It was gumshoe. He, he makes a point to shave it off badly He's... and cut himself every day in the same spot. That's how you know it's not him, because the guy doesn't have a band-aid. This, this guy's fucking octagon head. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> He's like a different art style. It's really, it's like, it's like One Punch, basically, where he's like, he looks different from every other character in the entire narrative. Uh, Mr. Meekins, you do, you work in the general affairs department, do you not? Yes, sir. I'm in charge of hiring new recruits, sir. What? Um, yikes, now that is a scary thought. That is. Is that how, is that how Gumshoe got his job? Oh, gosh. Oh, no. No, Evidence Gumshoe tra- hired him. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Evidence transferal was taking place on the day of the crime. Which meant many officers were given special tasks not ordinarily performed. I was in charge of guarding the Blue Badger, sir. Isn't that a different location? The Blue Badger? Yes, yeah, sir. The lovely police mascot created by the chief of detectives, sir. <laughs> Yay, it's coming up. I was to ensure it wasn't broken during the transferal process. That was my sole mission for the day, sir. See, that's the kind of work you should be doing. Yeah. I see. Sounds like a very, uh, important mission. After the award ceremony finished that day, there were so many people running around that I relocated the Blue Badger to the evidence room. What? Why? So they wouldn't get hurt. Isn't it, isn't it supposed to be seen? It's not what's job. Well, didn't Gumshoe make a joke about how they told him to put it somewhere because during that day, because they, he thought, because people, basically because people thought it was ugly or scary or something. Yeah. He made a comment on how people think it's scary. Oh. So that's why you went to the evidence room. Tell us... What did you see when you got there? I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. Oops. In order to enter the evidence room, you need an ID card, am I correct? Precisely, sir. I have one right here on my neck. So then, your ID number should be listed on here, right? it is I found it it's the one right there sir Could you please read us the number yes sir it's the one that's not sevens <laughs> <laughs> I see huh but the number five nine eight five <laughs> no, 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 no. is shown to be used twice see we tried to show you this earlier dude you could just told us this earlier yep please explain witness it's it's no real mystery sir the first time was when I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. And the second is when I went to go get him after everything settled down. Are you, are you telling me the blue badger can fit through that door? It's not that big. <laughs> it's pretty bulky. There's a, there's a car door in there. The car door is smaller than the blue badger. Yeah, I guess <laughs> Significantly. so. Significantly. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> blue badger is chonk. Chonk? He's chonky Look boy. how fucking big it is. It's as tall as the fucking help sign next to it. Aww. It's so big. 
All the better to intimidate you with. I guess you'd fold her, fold its arms in and like ho- have to move it in like horizontally, I guess. Yeah. It's big. Some of the guys we've seen in this game have been pretty does gigantic come, men. Does so. it come off that thing? Gumshoe's a pretty big dude. Maybe it comes off the... Uh, the stand? The stand. It'd be really awkward to hold sideways. That guy looks like he's crying. It's wait. Oh yeah, he's because he'll. It's he. He has so many smeared lines everywhere. So like one of his lines, one of his eyes is running. Yeah. <laughs> like an egg. Aww. And this the second time was when I went to go get him after everything settled down. I see. Uh, so it was during that second time when. Yes, sir. That was when I spotted the man on the security screen. So that's been, uh, that's been updated. I was uh, only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. So you were attacked. Can you please tell us exactly what happened to you? It was a knife, sir, a knife! Detective Goodman pulled a knife on you. What happened then? Well, with me charging in on him like that, he looked as surprised as I was. You aren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into. Damn. Hmm. That's when I reacted, sir. I swung my arms like an octopus, <laughs> struggling to detain oh. him. <laughs> like an oh. octopus? What Did, does that mean? I don't think they're really known for, like, swinging no, their arms. They don't. They're pretty graceful, actually. They're best known for, like, slowly kind of gliding forward with all of their little... They're like like jelly versions of a spider where they're all kind of like grasping and kind of slowly moving along the surface Or they're known for like the fucking like the squid takeoff motion where they all yeah. run together But neither of those are very Swingy. No, yes, yeah, so they're really beautiful to watch <clears throat> move around, but yeah, don't insult octopuses octopi mecans. Yeah, you can't be as grateful as them With your fucked up hand uh, That's how I got this gash on my hand Somebody had a knife, so he just swung his arms around like a lunatic and cut himself. <laughs> <laughs> and he liked my face to your foot technique. Uh, you know, when, when you can't win the fight, you just fight with crazy and you just, like, catch him off guard. <laughs> 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 Maybe if you had just kept your, your cool, your hand wouldn't be... When I saw the blood trickling down my arm, I panicked. I grabbed the man by his collar. Uh... The blood on the, the blood. collar well, on Lana. On Lana? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The jacket that's probably not hers. Oh, I was that, thinking about the shirt had... in the evidence locker. Uh, that, that could be something, but I'm, I'm just thinking about, like, long in the picture where... Is it a picture? Yeah, it's a photo. Uh, Lana's... Yeah. Yeah, that could be it. You would have been grabbed by somebody's left hand left hand that is left his hand. left hand's bandaged so yeah th- 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 yeah there we go so we have an idea of where lana's the weird lana collar blood came from we were the jacket but, has not come up yet but we've been waiting for it so wait i still don't know how that would have gotten to yeah the, the, this, this evidence isn't doesn't work well not yet because I mean, it could work well, but, like i don't the, know yeah and it, it Something has to go wrong with the timetable to contradict it, because, uh... Is it unrelated blood? Because the problem is that his incident Mm -hmm. and her being photographed happened at the same time, so he can't have made that print. I mean, he can't can't have made that blood on her collar unless something's wrong with the record. We already know that something screwed with the timetable anyway. I would, yeah. I would be surprised if it like extended to cover this problem too. I do wonder if we're gonna find out that this entire thing is like forged by an hour or yeah. something. Yeah, like it's all off by like an hour. Like daylight savings time. Ha! Oh my gosh! What if that was the answer to a case? But Jeez then, w- but then, wouldn't Miles know that his that his like date is wrong? Um, but hang yeah. on, I wasn't there at fo- at four forty. Wait a minute. Yeah, but maybe they just haven't noticed yet. I don't know. You know how these cases Maybe. are. Yeah. They're Oops, scary. I forgot to read something. <laughs> yeah, I know. Should have checked the back of the receipt. You freaking Edward. That's, I mean, that's, that's our starting baseline for this franchise, is that receipt. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I fought for my life, then I I did it. 
What exactly do you mean when you say you did it? I know I don't look the type, but I'm really into kung fu films, sir. The man let his guard down for just an instant, so I snatched his knife from him. You took his knife? I spun him around and performed a disarming maneuver. I made sure to close my eyes like a man. Aww. Oh. <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Real men don't see. <laughs> Real men don't look when they kill people. Is this going to be the explanation for why I didn't see his face? They close their eyes out of respect. But doesn't respect. that picture show us him seeing him see his face? It's not, not a real photo, I guess, but still. I, uh, see. He must have been desperate. Next thing I knew, his white coat was drenched in a sea of my blood. <laughs> wow, what an, what, what an effective fighting technique you've got there. And then, then the next thing I knew, yes, he punched me right in my face, sir. He pan Wait, he got knocked out from a punch to the face? You can get knocked out from a punch to the face. Yeah, but like, he doesn't show at all. <laughs> No. <laughs> it's like, it was like a day ago. That, you know, that that is true. Yeah, I feel like there should be evidence that he got not hit in the face that hard. After that, I passed out. Until another officer smacked me awake. <laughs> the second smack undid the first smack. <laughs> His face popped back out, like yeah. when you pop a dent out of a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, about what time did you regain consciousness? No offense, sir, but how am I supposed to know that? I was unconscious. There's clocks when you wake up, sir. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Wait, don't fucking just take that, Phoenix. No. He's wrong. According to the report from the officer that woke up the witness, it was around 5.30. He hit me right in the head, too. I woke up crying tears of pain. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's nice that you recovered that is. That's nice. <laughs> when I came around, though, I made sure to finish my mission, sir. Your mission? Yes, sir, the blue badger, sir. What? I returned him to the entrance before things got out of hand. Is that really your priority, buddy? What was going to get out of hand? What the fuck is he talking about? Well, we can all rest easy now. For the world ended, because the badger's, whole, like, is... Is holding everything together. In yeah, this like world. what is the bad? What? What do you mean? Before things got out of hand. He's their idol. He's their totem. What the fuck? I swear that's Gant. Like, I'm just like seven sevens. That's Gant. Yeah, I'm just like he. He he returned the blue badge before things got out of hand. He literally brought it in there only a half an hour ago. Like. <laughs> He's like, we're just going to take you to the evidence room for half an hour to cool off. Then we'll bring you right back out. Is that the timetable? He's like a celebrity. Why is it so important to bring him back and forth? Yeah, so do they take the blue badge to the green room or something? <laughs> <laughs> Go powder his nose a little yeah. bit. <laughs> he needs a little touch up. I believe we now have a fairly accurate picture of what happened. Yes, your honor. Only one thing remains unclear. Was the man this officer murdered really the victim? He's got a point. Um... Yes, Officer Meekins? With regard to that, sir... Take a look at this! It was sent to my jail cell! Mm. I keep forgetting he's been in jail because of how stu <laughs> It's just so dumb that he's in jail, but... Yeah, he's admitting to murder for some reason. I don't think he would do very well in jail. <laughs> chief can't delivered it to me just this morning, sir. <clears throat> the chief delivered it. What is that? A videotape. Yes, sir. That's absolutely absolutely right, sir. A videotape, sir. It cont it contains footage from the security camera in the evidence room. That sounds important. Yeah. Why does nobody else have it yet? <laughs> what? But I specifically asked if there was such a tape and was told it had been mistakenly erased. That's convenient. That's quite a mistake. <laughs> yes. I just do what I'm so told, sir. It's the only thing I'm really good at. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you even good at that? <laughs> oh. Looks like communication with the police department is as good as ever. 
Well then, let's have a look. Show us the video of you murdering the victim. Oh, please stop using that word. Murder, sir. It scares me. A video of a real murder. Just what are we getting ourselves into? Let's see it. Let's watch the snuff film. Yay! Yay! Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's scary. Is this Five Nights at Freddy's? He's gonna scroll back and forth. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> of course his fucking face is enough. This is a terrible video camera. Where is it? It's on the ground, like on a tripod. Oh my fucking god! Blue Badger, what the this, fuck? You ruined everything. He's, he's betrayed us. This fu <laughs> its a fucking Austin Powers sketch. Oh, oh my, my god, gosh. they have 3D models of all these characters. That's weird. Everything's modeled in 3D in this game. <laughs> Blue Badger. Oh, he did try to cut him with a knife. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I've got so many- This is my favorite part of the entire game. <laughs> this is the best thing of the entire game. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. This motherfucker never gets his face on camera. <laughs> that, whoever did this murder, whoever did this, knew the camera was there. Oh my god, there's so many problems. <laughs> and he f and he did such a bad job at not getting seen. Like, it was pure luck that the flag got in his face every single time, which he didn't even know was going to be there. The no matter who it was, all this person works there. They know the camera's there, right? No matter which person is, it yeah. actually is. They know the camera's there. Secondly, where the frick... Where is this camera? Is it literally, like five feet high like where is it in the middle of the room like yeah what is this apparently angle? we were like practically tripping over it every time we walked to that room like it's just in the wall you don't see in the room it's the fourth wall that's that's where the camera is but like here's the thing it's an l-shaped room yeah you put the camera in the point of the l and yeah. make it a wide angle lens it can see the entire room simultaneously at all times go left to right you Have don't you never, do that <laughs> it's not how security works i swear to god this should this, 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 like it'd be like when you go to like fucking like jc penny or whatever there'd be like a fucking black dome in the corner that would have the camera in it and that camera could see all of the room at once instead it's perfectly framed where like someone's head doesn't even fit in the frame because it's a, a narrow ass lens and it has to scroll back and forth Okay. But that still though, that, that that scene we just watched is like my favorite thing in the entire game. <laughs> that was incredible. Why did Meekins turn him off or something? I love the comedy horror aesthetic of the whole it's, thing. <laughs> it's creepy. It's really creepy. The music like that there was like a potential almost a murder happening to that music. <laughs> what if you died to that? And he bled everywhere. <laughs> like, haha. I'm a big fan of kung fu movies, you see, sir, so I bled all over him. <laughs> that, you know, that's, that's now the trick. We just, need to sp <gasps> we just need to spray people with luminol. Spray people with luminol? Yeah. Next time we see Gant, I'm going to spray him with luminol on his collar. And we're going we're gonna, we're gonna, to find <laughs> that it's like covered in this poor kid's blood. It's like, that's him. He was the one. No, it's not going to work because he's wearing like a disguise or something, but it's just... This is dumb. I, I, I have no words. I <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's, dude. Their faces. <laughs> Everyone's so fucking mad. <laughs> the stupid fucking Blue Badger. <laughs> Just Austin powers the nudity away. Except the nudity he, was his he face. He totally did. Yeah. He, he, they Blue did Badger, the, why? They did you that. They me. did exactly that gag where like the fucking flag blocked his face every time. <laughs> Oh my god. What a useless camera that was. Well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing. How can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? <laughs> the new fear of the blue badger that everyone has. What the hell was that wriggling piece of plywood? Sir, that's the pride and joy of the entire criminal affairs department, sir, is it? <laughs> it's the blue badger, sir. I still want a shirt with blue badger on We it. now know it has one fan. <laughs> I, what about me? You're not real. Oh, damn. In this world. <laughs> <laughs> in this world? Uh-oh. Yeah, the problem is that you are you are real, is the problem. Am I, though? Which makes you not real. <laughs> Why am I not surprised this isn't going smoothly? Gosh, that's ridiculous. What an incredible tape. 
We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to watch that again. We're gonna have to watch it. You know it's Several gonna come up times. later. It's gonna come up later. <laughs> yes, well, anyway. This tape seems to prove that the witness did indeed encounter, uh, someone in the evidence room, and some sort of, uh, activity did take place. Your Honor, instead of relying on clearly incomplete footage, the witness's testimony will suffice. Is that all right with you, Officer Meekins? Yes, yeah, sir. I would like to be sent to jail forever for murder, sir. I'm just committing to this for some reason, sir. As you wish, sir. <laughs> he's, he's way too happy about the dying he's doing. His face can't be clearly seen in the video, but there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. Do, do. Glove? Did we see him do it, though? Oh, was he wearing gloves? Well, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm just saying, I wonder if you could use gloves to But the do music that? doesn't change. Dude, this is a little... I don't know if it matters, but the uh, only, that uh, one... Uh, what? Uh, 1436. Oh, wait, no, it's 1714. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I read the wrong part of the tell. I was like, wait, these minutes are going fast. <laughs> There's only one locker with a light on. I don't know if that matters. That's but... a glove, isn't it? Or is his is, Wait, does he have a giant finger in the middle? <laughs> I think the cell shading is not working very well. Yeah, I missed something. I wish you'd pause. We can't tell if his do, hands is wearing gloves. Do, 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 do. I can't. Do. Is he wearing gloves or not? Something did. Uh, Those look like fall... gloves to me. Something did fall out of the locker. But I don't know. Bum 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 bum. What if we look at the glove? That was at the crime scene, and it has like fingerprints on it. Well, that's like, what I'm fake saying. Yeah, like I wonder if you can. That's what I was wondering earlier if we could like do anything with the finger. Is... Is this the Prince. one? No, this is SL9. This is a different case, uh, isn't it? Mm, whatever. So this is the old... This is an old glove. I wonder if that's what fell out of the locker, though. Maybe. I don't know what significance that would have, but... It explains mm. why we could find it, I guess. Yeah, I can't tell from the video whether he's wearing gloves or not, because it looks like... Cell shading is kind of just freaking out. Like his hands are just... It's well, it's just, probably just yeah. purposefully not clear, you know? No, I mean, like, you can't even count his fingers. Oh. He has, like, a index finger, a pinky, and then, like, a mega finger in the middle. <laughs> that, that's, like, three fingers wide. <laughs> like, the like the outlines. Something about the way it's rendered is making the outline not show or something. It's weird. I mean, he opened the locker, that, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do. That That's the biggest counter evidence to my theory, though. Was well, that it's finger, somebody else? We, we need to figure out the fingerprint thing. Yeah, but I think the fact that they're pointing it out means that we have to disprove it. Yeah. The locker he opens unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. I. It's weird that his evidence is this and not... I saw his face with my eyes. Yeah, I know. In our confrontation. <laughs> like, why doesn't he know who it was? Does he have face blindness? <laughs> like, he's, he's more certain about the locker part than he is about the person he saw, yeah. which is understandable. I know he went through a lot, but they're definitely different looking in a lot of ways. Yeah. I don't think that you could really confuse their faces. What's this about a fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker equipped with a fingerprint activated lock. These locks ensure that each locker can only be opened by the detective it belongs to. Intriguing. That would mean... The victim of the crime scene would have had to have been Detective Goodman. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. I don't know where this cross-examination will lead. Or <laughs> where, where it will begin. But everything begins with contradictions. That's where I have to start. 